French. I'm from the United States. I'm uh, Rabel Andreas. I come from Austria. My name is Miriam. I am a firefighter from Barcelona. My name is Wolfgang Hock. I'm from Germany. My name is Jenny Dubin and I am from the U.S. I really thought that everything would be completely destroyed, but it, it really isn't. There's still so much to see. Uh, people are amazing. I'm visiting Nepal in these maybe some critical times, despite all these rumors how it is here. So we came here and uh, we tried to see the country how it is like. We've seen that Nepal is still a great country uh, with so nice people. Just being in Kathmandu and in the surrounding areas, um, the landscape is, is beautiful. It's mountainous, it's green. Uh, obviously, the, the colorful nature of this country is really astonishing. For me, Nepal is a very good place and it's uh, very friendly people and I like them. The country hasn't changed. It's still the most beautiful country. The mountains are still the most stunning thing you can possibly see. And you're going to be greeted with open arms everywhere you go. My message to people would be, certainly foreign tourists, is you know Nepal needs you now more than ever and I think people should come and go trekking and spend their money here and help people rebuild. Come to this place, visit this place, uh, uh, make treks. I think this is a very good place to make uh, a holiday, to make treks, to go climbing. They have very good mountains. I think it's just important to remember that even though Nepal has been facing this disaster, uh, really right now Nepal is very safe, continuing to come back to normal, uh, is a good place for people to travel. You can visit places in Pokhara and other uh, parts of the country which has been not so damaged and do a lot of things uh, even after the earthquake. I feel perfectly safe and I've been having a wonderful time. Come, everybody, yeah, come to Nepal and help make a difference at this point where it's most important.